Hello, and welcome to this, what turns out to be quite a popular series in building this Maxi CNC router. Everything is done. Uh, everything mechanical and electrical are finished. Uh, so today's video, I will be making uh, the bed, which is going to be a double layer of 18 or 19 now. Um, I think this is 18 millimeters, which is three quarters of an inch. MDF. So it's going to be a full sheet on the lower level, but the upper level I'm going to cut into lengths and route out for T slots. As you can probably hear, it started to rain and being a tin shed roof um, and I know it's going to get hard, you know, we're going to get a lot more rain, harder rain. I'm going to video this in its entirety uh, and uh, I'm going to have to put some backing music on otherwise it'd be fairly silent. Um, unfortunately there's a, you know, a lot of interference noise from time to time. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, well, let's get on with it.
Well, finally the rain has stopped and I can now start to talk on the video. So what you've just seen me do is mark out this top section and I have grooved out these to make T-slot ways. Uh, in the preceding video to this I actually showed you me making the uh, T-bolts and the, uh, the clamping mechanism for this CNC router build. Um, so that's, that's what these are going to be. They're going to be spaced apart about uh, nine, with a 9mm gap here which gives a bit of clearance for the bolt to go up through. So what I've done is marked out um, and drilled sort of a, a pretty well a clearance hole for the screw uh, and countersunk this in uh, approximately three millimeters. So the screw head is it ends up about a millimeter or so below the the height of this material. Um, not really worried about. Um, the tool going in and, and hitting the head because uh, I, I use all carbide tools and uh, it's a 2.2 kilowatt spindle so if I make a mistake uh, in the depth and I go driving the tool into the into this um, top sheet uh, it, it'll just cut the head off the, the, the screw uh, you know, without damaging the, the, the actual router itself. So then it just means replacing <laughs> replacing these, which is easy job to do. So what I've done, I've marked out and uh, pilot drilled uh, and countersunk these. So now, to keep the bed flat, because I don't like you know, putting a nice new bed on, then skimming over it, you know, with a, with a, with a fly cutter, um, taking a, a couple of millimetre off it. I don't see the point in that. So what I do is I get the bed flat first, in other words, the first half of the bed, the bottom sheet, get that flat, and then screw these on it. But, having put a pilot hole through, and this is MDF, what sometimes happens is the back yeah, uh, has a bit of material here that uh, if you screw down on it, it'll, it'll hold, hold this up, raised up. So it could end up giving you an uneven, you know, sort of just uneven bed then, sort of. We're only talking half a millimetre here and under normal circumstances, you know, I really wouldn't bother too much about it, but I, I want to do this job properly, so I'm turn all these over now and just get a bit of sandpaper and just lightly go over where these holes come through to make sure that there's no raised area. Okay. Now what I do in this case, um, this is a piece of uh, nine millimeter, which is what, not far off three eighths of an inch. Um, they're just gauge blocks, so you pop them in here like this. Bring that one up. Actually, it might be a little bit too wide, I'll just check. Actual fact, it's perfect. 
happy with that. So we just get it flush on here, pull it towards me, and pop a couple of screws in. Nearly there. Let's see if it works. Is the way that I make a bed for a CNC rotor and this being the maxi CNC rotor and it is now complete finished and I'm extremely happy with it everything has turned out to be absolutely perfect the way I designed it um, I've had to redesign nothing at all and to that end, within the next week, hopefully the drawings are going to be up on my Patreon pages for those of you who are hanging out to build your own. And I do know uh, a couple of people that have actually started building one and ordering the parts in. And the next video will be pretty well solely Mark III where I will be tuning this right in um, and showing you a few little things in Mark III that I suppose you don't see in normal in, in other videos then um, about adjusting the the speed in which um, you know it, it will home uh, setting up the home switches um, setting up the soft limits, you know, in other words, telling the Mark III the, the size of the working area here and not to go outside that area. Um, and all the good stuff like that. You know, motor tuning, so that'll all be in the next video. And I hope that you're going to pop along and have a look. So, if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. 
and if you really like my videos and what I'm doing you could become a patron to the channel uh, patron information is underneath this video in the video description area where you'll also find a discount code there for any of the Cavco program products and also if you have to buy Fusion 360 there's also a 20% discount for that as well but again if you would like to become a patron that would help this channel out greatly because it is very difficult uh, in this climate to uh, continue going uh, so like I say I would be grateful of any patron assistance whatsoever so thank you for joining me and I hope to see you on the next video bye for now